Hi everybody, my name is Martin and uh, this is my latest project. Um, this is the first video I've made with this robot. Um, so it's probably going to have a lot of issues, but we'll, uh, we'll give it a go. I'm going to try to do some various movement tests to uh, demonstrate all the servos and actuators. And uh, we're also going to do a few verbal and vision tests. And I'm going to be trying to use this cell phone for the most part to send verbal commands. Um, and uh, if she's talking too much and I have too much trouble with the phone, then I may uh, just type commands. Um, normally she has an animated face here on the front, um, but I have the HDMI connected into a monitor um, that's off screen so that I can tell what's going on during the taping of this. Uh, so in a future video, I'll show the animated face and you'll see the uh, eyes and lip movement and all that. So I'll go ahead and get started and we'll do a few to get her warmed up early. Hi. Hi. So hopefully that volume level, I'll turn it up a little bit so maybe everybody can hear better. And we'll just go through some some different tests. What is your name? My name is Ava. How are you doing? I am doing great. As in many other European languages, English at the time had a TV distinction, some which made the plural forms in. more respectful and deferential. They Be were quiet. used to address strangers and social superiors. The possessive forms, really. So that was some autonomy kicking in, and that's going to happen because she's still certifiably insane. Um, move closer. Okay. Look up. Okay. Look in front of you. Hmm. So we started to see the hip movement there. What do you see? I see a keyboard, a potted plant, and a laptop. So that's uh, using YOLO uh, version 3. Um, what is your camera? My main camera is a Warpack Astrid embedded S3D depth camera. What is your CPU? My main CPU is a Latte Panda Delta. And that was actually an incorrect answer. She's using a Latte Panda Alpha, so I'll have to fix that. Look down into the left. Oh, mm -hmm. that didn't take. Look down and left. Mm -hmm. So that's showing the side-to-side -side cord movement, which is necessary in order to get the hands within reach of the ground. Default. Really? We'll try it on the other side. Look down and right. So she moved uh, forward, back, and left and right with the core using a linear slide um, and linear ball bearing system on two hollow steel rods. Check behind you. Interesting. So she has... Um, driving lights, brake lights, and turn signals that are on these front uh, LEDs. 
Rotate slightly right. Hmm. I don't know if you can see it, but the current light is blinking yellow and the rest is still the dry light. Lift the leg. Okay. The combination of movements at all joints can be modeled as a single, linear element capable of changing length and rotating about an omnidirectional hip joint. Leg remind me of myself. Stop talking. Got it. So that was the autonomy kicking in again. Uh, for some reason, she wanted to talk about her leg. Lower your leg. Hmm. I smell like leg. And see, once again, autonomy can get really weird. The leg is used for stability. Hmm. Stop talking. Interesting. Move back. Hmm. So now we're going to do, let's see, it's going through a list of things here. Hands on your hips. Okay. Hands up. Got it. Looks like we have a servo glitch and a tilt and a forearm there. I'll have to fix that at some point. That one's been on the fritz for a while. Let's do uh, hands up. Really? Open your hands. Okay. So she has shock I once clasped hands. She has shock absorbers in her hands to keep from burning out her servos. So I'm going to have her close them. And the postman has hands. Them. Close your hands. Really? I shake hands. Arms out. Got it. What is your arm span? My arm span is 45 inches fingertip to fingertip. And uh, you may be able to see but when there's any noise in the room, or, um, this is what activates the LED ring in this particular mode. So it's uh, analyzing the sound frequency from a microphone, and that's what's used to light up. Um, the different spots around her LED, her front LED ring. Uh, I can also use this to show um, some emotional state, but I'm not doing that right now. Um, tell me about yourself. Thanks for asking. I am a medium sized general purpose household, educational, and industrial robot. Interesting. In washout, lowercase m represents a typical m sound, while uppercase m represents a voiceless m sound. Stop talking. Something you find, got it. So she's still, as you can see, she's done several times here, gotten very insane. Um, earlier today, she even said that she was insane, which I thought was hilarious. Um, So one of the things she can do is some yoga poses. Warrior left. Interesting. Some people use warrior four. Look ahead. Really? Fighting stance. Interesting. Hmm. So 
So th this is our default position, um, and it's really nice because from this position, she can lean, she can do all kinds of different things without her arms running into the tracks. Um, so it's just a general kind of safe position for a track divide in this configuration. Now, uh, now to show um, how she would pick something up off the ground. She can't do that yet, but in a future version, I hope to have her uh, grabbing things and picking them up. Because she has a 3D depth cam uh, on top of her head, as she leans over, her head is right above the object in her hand, and eventually she'll be able to grab things. So we'll try that out. Pick something up. So she's leaning over, she's getting her head in position, and then she's reaching, and she's got plenty of room really? to spare for the ground. I'd like to hear something. Wait, goodbye. Really? Some people think goodbye is unnecessary. <laughs> Wave. I don't think she got it the first time. Introduces the opposite of goodbye. Bye bye. Interesting. Thanks, and um, I hope you enjoyed that. And once again, that was my first video with this robot. I'm going to be making many more um, in the future. Um, the, one of the main things that you're going to see in the future is this robot's ability to learn uh, on its own from the internet unsupervised and then to be able to talk about those things uh, with some reasonable logic and uh, reading comprehension. I use a bunch of transformer models to do question answering and other things. So I hope you'll uh, tune in for that. Thank you very much.